Hello everyone. See this problem. A pump is required to lift 600 kg of water per minute from a well 25 meter deep and to eject it with a speed of 50 meter per second. Calculate the power required to perform the above task. This is very simple problem. There is a well and there is a pump used to lift the water. The depth of well is 25 meter from which we have to take water up and the speed with which water comes out of the pipe is 50 meter per second. Okay, so let's write first given things. Mass is given 600 kg, height 25 meter, velocity is 50 meter per second, time is 1 minute because it is per minute, so that's why 1 minute means 60 seconds. And they said that gravity, that is acceleration due to gravity, you take it as a 10 meter per second. Okay, power P is equal to question mark. We have to find power required to perform this task. Now power, uh, first of all, m by t I am finding. We can say the rate of mass lifting. So m is equal to mass by time. m is 600 by time is 60. So if we will divide this, we will get 10 kg per second. So m is 600 times 60. 10 is 600, so that's why m by t you are getting 10 kg per second. Now power P is equal to energy by time. Power P is equal to energy by time. But here, this energy is nothing but total energy. That is nothing but potential energy plus kinetic energy. And that's why potential energy is mgh plus half m square divided by this time t. Why? Because we are lifting from some depth as well as we are, we are throwing with some velocity also. That's why total energy is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy divided by time. Now from this, from numerator, I am taking m and from denominator, I am taking t. So m by t, I am taking outside. So m by t into bracket, what is left here? gh. So this is gh plus m went this side. So half v square. Okay, bracket close. So m by t I have taken out what is left inside bracket gs plus half m p square. Now let's substitute the values. m by t we have 10 so I have substituted m by t is equal to 10 into bracket. g is a 10, h is 25 substituted plus half as it is p square is nothing but 50 square so 50 into 50 now this 2 25 is a 50 we have cancelled let's go ahead now power p is equal to this 10 as it is 10 into 25 to 50 okay this 10 as it is 10 and 25 to 50 plus this 2 25 of 50 finished means 25 into 50 you have so 25 into 50 is 1 to 5 0 now 1 to 5 0 plus 250 you will get 1500 so 10 into this 1500 is equal to how much 15000 so you got power P is equal to 15,000 Watt. Okay, how much? 15,000 Watt. Now if we will convert this into kilowatt, then I can write 15 into 1000 Watt. And this 1000 Watt is nothing but 1 kilowatt. Yes. And therefore, power P is equal to how much? 15 kilowatt. So either you can write 15,000 Watt or in kilowatt, you can write as 15 kilowatt.
this question also they may ask you for two marks below the L or along with L. Okay. Just write down given things, use the formula, practice one or two times. You will get it. Okay.